see me, I'm surrounded by them snipers You ain't never run out with a hustle in your life, huh? I'm from 1800, I'm a hot boy, but I'm Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Smeekle, also known as Smeekle, but you can call me Smeekle, and today we got a competition between the Rockets and the Warriors. So the Rockets and Warriors have some of the best three-point shooters in the league. Uh, Curry's leading, and then we got Eric Gordon, James Harden, and Klay Thompson are all up there, and most three-pointers made this season. So we're going to be finding out which team is actually better overall at three-pointers. So obviously for the Rockets, we're gonna go with Eric Gordon, Ryan Anderson, and James Harden for shooting the threes because they have the, the highest three point ratings on the team. And then the Warriors, we're gonna go with Curry, Klay Thompson, and Kevin Durant. We're gonna get an injury free Kevin Durant to use. Anyways guys, if you do go on to enjoy the video, smash that like button and let's try to hit 60 likes again on this video. And of course, the shout out of the day for the notification is on the screen right now. Anyways, we're gonna start it off um, this video with Eric Gordon right here. So we're gonna make him the practice player right now And then we're gonna do Ryan Anderson and James Harden and how we're gonna do this is Each player is gonna take 10 shots from the three-point line and whichever team misses the most loses Whichever team misses the least wins obviously. So we're starting off the Rockets here We got Eric Gordon going up first. So first shot for Eric Gordon. He sinks it So one for one for the Rockets so far See if they can keep going. Second shot for Eric Gordon, sinks it again. Obviously, Eric Gordon won the three-point contest this year, so he's really good from the three-point line. But can he make them all to go? He is three for three so far. Make that four for four. Now we got the corner shot, the last shot for a halfway point. Hits that on his first attempt, and now we are going the other way around. He hits another perfect release. Eric Gordon is five for six, seven for seven right now. And then here's his eighth shot. Can he get it? Another perfect release for Eric Gordon. He's got two shots to go. Can he finish it off here? He's moving on to the final shot. We got the corner shot for Eric Gordon. Can he finish with perfect? And he does. So Eric Gordon right there, he hits 10 for 10. And we're moving on to Ryan Anderson. All right, guys, we got Ryan Anderson up next. We're going to start on this side. Why not? All right, so Ryan Anderson starting off right here, puts up his first shot, and he actually misses his first shot so one miss for the Rockets so far come on right there we go he hits a second shot he's actually one of the best uh, three-point shooting bigs in the league like look at how good he is he's got that nice release perfect release so he has one miss so far still gets another perfect release let's see if he can continue going here on these perfect releases we got a cold spot for him and he misses a second one Ryan Anderson not looking too good but he manages to hit a second so that was his cold spot so that's all right if he misses there, as long as he keeps going. Oh no, Ryan Anderson has his third miss. He's got three misses so far. There we go, he bangs that one home. We got two more shots. He cannot miss it anymore or else it's gonna be really hard for the Rockets to win here. He's got four misses. He's got four misses, but he drains the last shot. So the Rockets are up to four misses in total here. I don't know, the Warriors could honestly beat that just pretty easily, but we got James Harden going on next. To wrap it all up and let's actually see what he can do here if he can hit a perfect 10 for 10 so james harden starting off right now first shot goes up hits that on his first attempt we're going with the second attempt here he hits another shot so two for two so far for james harden looking pretty good let's see if he can keep going though i mean he can't get too many misses he misses a shot the rockets are up to five misses right now Okay, he drains that one home. James Harden cannot miss if he wants the uh, Rockets to actually stay in this because the Warriors are all really good three-point shooters, um, possibly even better than the Rockets, even though the Rockets do take more three-pointers. James Harden misses a second shot. So the Rockets are up to what? Are they up to six or seven now? I am not completely sure, but James Harden hits that one, and now we got the final shot here. And... James Harden hits it. All right, so the Rockets, okay, I forget the count, but the count will be on screen here. It's either six or seven for the Rockets, but we're gonna be using the Warriors up next, and we're gonna find out if they can actually beat the Rockets. So let's get right into that. All right, we got the Warriors up here next. We're gonna be starting it off with Stephen Curry, and let's see how he can actually do here. So first shot he puts up, perfect release, obviously for him. I wonder if anybody on the Warriors is actually gonna go for 10 for 10. If it's going to be anybody, it's going to be Steph Curry. 
Um, but we're gonna find out right here. Three for three so far. Um, yeah, because they each need like two misses in order to lose. Um, I mean, if Curry goes off here, that might not actually happen. Curry has not missed a shot so far. He's five for five. Five more shots to go. Let's see if he can finish it off. Another perfect release. It's literally been a perfect release every time. Oh my god. Okay, he misses his first shot there. So Curry with one miss so far. So one total for the Warriors since he's the first player to go up. He's got two more shots right here going up. He shoots that one and Curry actually misses two shots in a row. And now we got the final shot for him. And he drains that home. So the Warriors with two shots after Steph Curry. But we got Klay Thompson going up here next. I'm all right, we got Clay Thompson up here next. For some reason, Kevin Durant isn't in the roster, even though I put it on injury free. But Clay Thompson hits his first shot right there. Bangs home his second shot. Let's even get his third one in. Ken, oh my, that wasn't a three pointer right there. We got to redo that one. I accidentally stepped up too much, but he drains his third shot. Let's see if he can get a perfect 10 for 10 like Eric Gordon. I mean, he lost him in the three point contest, so I don't know if it's going to work out like that. Klay Thompson misses his first shot, gets his second shot on that little uh, corner three right there. See if he can keep going though and keep it at one shot. They're up to three in total for the Warriors. Klay Thompson's got two more shots to, do, to go. Can he finish it off here? One more corner three to go and then they will be way ahead. There we go. Klay Thompson ends up banging that home and we got Kevin Durant up next. And I got to find out if I can actually get Kevin Durant in here because he's not showing up on the roster. All right guys, so we got Kevin Durant leading off the Warriors here and the Warriors have a total of three misses so they have to get two or less Durant has to get in order to win this. And you may be wondering why he's on the Kings. It's the only way I could play with him. Every other roster with him, he was injured. Even the injury free roster had him injured. So he's on the Kings right now and he's got to hit two, miss two or less. And first shot he puts up and he actually gets that one to go so he's one for one so far let's see what he can do here he actually misses that that was a weird that was like short there that was a weird shot by him but he can only miss one more shot in order to win this thing so let's see if he can finish he, mi he misses another one kevin durant has to go um perfect for it the rest of the game he gets a perfect release there so i mean that's that's the way to do it right there he gets another one and he has to hit four more shots without missing can he do it he hits that one. I thought that was going to miss. Honestly thought that the, that was going to miss. He didn't give the green light right there. But he gets that to go. He's got two more. Can Kevin Durant do it? Okay, he missed. Kevin Durant missed. He's got to get this one in in order to actually tie it. Can he get it? Kevin Durant just missed four shots. And the Warriors lose to the Rockets. Kevin Durant, I don't know why. I mean, his free or his three-pointer isn't as high as it used to be, his rating. Um, maybe because he's injured. I don't know how it really works on this game with the injury and everything. But the Rockets end up beating the Warriors by one point in the three-point contest. So there you have it. I mean, the Rockets do shoot the most three-pointers. I think they have the most three-pointers made in total this season, even though the uh, Warriors are a really good team. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Again, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. This has been your boy, Speakle, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. so icy, wonder why she like me, bitch. I'm drowning in water. I just bought a Cuban, dipped it in.